This is my disclaimer. Do not try this at home. This is only for survival purposes and this is not a toy. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home. Aloha everybody. Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today I want to show you how to make a hunting star. It's really simple. The dimensions are around 8 inches by 8 inches. You're going to need some paracord and a knife and some kind of wood that's got some weight to it but you don't want too much to where it's hard to throw and you're exhausting yourself when you're throwing it and you're not as accurate but if it's too light it won't be as accurate and it won't really do anything it'll just bounce off your prey now this is used for let's say pheasant or squirrel or uh, some kind of small game and what you want to do is you would stun them you probably wouldn't kill them with this and then you could run up with your spear and that'll give you enough time to uh, to finish the the job you know the, the killing blow and this is basically just a stun um, yeah it, it might kill like a rabbit or something if you hit it right and it's sharp enough uh, but yeah stick around and find out how to make one of your own what you're gonna need to make a hunting star is some rope and a good knife and some wood I'm going to use guava. This is some green guava I just cut down. And let's start making a hunting star. Okay. I'm going to sharpen one end. Make sure it's solid. And I sharpen my spear points like this. One continuous edge. Something like that. Now I'll do the same to the other side. I'm gonna make sure I get the right length. I think somewhere around right here is good. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to put the notch. Right about there. Then I'm going to do a notch. So I've got one of the pieces done. It's got a notch in it. It's got two spikes on each side. This is part of the hunting star. One part of it. So i got something like that. It's got a notch in it in the middle, two spikes. And then I'll make another one just like this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this one with the notch and place it on the other one that you've made. You're about to put the notch in, so you put it about the center. And then you can mark it just with your knife. 
right? That one will go there. This one will go here. And then now you know roughly how your notch is gonna be. Okay, I like to make a slip knot and then just slip it over this whole star right here and tighten it down. It's your simple slip knot. Works great. And then go over right like this and then go over like this. You're basically just going around the star in a star pattern and locking it in different ways and tying it down in different directions. Left, right, left, right. Basically just doing a star pattern over and over, just like that. Make sure it's tight, it's secure. And now when you come to the end, you can just tie it down. It's tight. Now she's ready to go hunting. This hunting star would be used for small game, rabbits, squirrel, pheasant, wild chicken. Uh, you might not kill it, but you'll stun it, and then you can run up and spear it or finish it off. And this would be a great survival hunting tool, and it's easy to make. Uh, the notch is probably the hardest part. And then basically, like I was saying, you want eight inches by eight inches. You want uh, some tough wood. This is guava. So it's flexible but tough, and it has some weight to it. If it's too heavy, then you'll be exhausted and you'll probably miss. You'll, uh, it won't go as far and it won't go as fast. Uh, if it's too light, then you'll probably miss because it'll be too light. And if it, you did hit, it might not do much uh, you know, damage to the prey. But like I was saying, you could definitely uh, you know, hit something um, small with this if you practice you got to practice 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 and aiming you know is the hardest part so all this takes is a good knife this is a Bark River Grasso Bolo 2 uh, this is a great knife to make uh, traps and uh, hunting stars and all sorts of bushcraft and survival tasks and then you're gonna need some paracord and it's as simple as that easy as that and these are not toys. These are very dangerous. So this is my disclaimer. Do not try this at home. And this is a survival situation only. And I hope you like this video. I hope you comment. I love all your comments. And please uh, share this video and hit that red subscribe button and the bell symbol to get further notifications that I've uploaded a video. And hit that red subscribe button for further videos, and until next time, aloha!